During the unveiling ceremony of 10 new defense systems of Iran Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces Logistics MODAFL, on February 13, the Delavia 3 anti-tank guided missile was unveiled. The Delavia 3 is a tactical anti-tank Iranian missile with a range of 5 to 6 kilometers made by the Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces Logistics, Iran. Its guidance is semi-automatic and possesses high accuracy. Its armor penetration is more than 1,000 mm, and it is one of the most powerful anti-tank missiles in the world. It is considered to be an unlicensed copy of the Russian Cornet, known as AT-14, anti-tank missile, which has the same guidance, outer appearance and published performance. The Lavia missile has the power to fight all sorts of armored fighting vehicles. Examining the appearance of the Delavia 3 ATGM and comparing it with the 9M133 M2 Cornet M missile, it can be seen that the Delavia 3 is almost completely similar to the Russian model. The 9M133 M2 missile with a maximum range of 8,000 meters is the longest range man portable anti tank missile in the world, and now Iran's MODAFL has introduced the Iranian version of this missile into mass production. Earlier, the missile was seen for the first time in 2021 during the visit of the Chief of Staff for the Armed Forces of Iran, Major General Sardar Bagheri to the exhibition of achievements of the Iranian Ministry of Defense in Tehran. The 9M133 M2 missile has the strongest warhead of anti-tank missiles in the world in terms of penetration, and its warhead is equivalent to 10 kg of TNT, and its warhead can penetrate up to 1300 mm in rolled steel. In this unveiling, a version of Delavia 3 anti-armor missile, which is similar to the 9M133 FM2 model, was also unveiled with a red body. This version of the missile intended for use against light armored vehicles, personnel, field fortifications and buildings with thermobaric warhead. Specifications, range, 8,000 to 150 meters armor penetration, 1,300 to 1,100 millimeters maximum speed, 300 meters per second missile weight, including container, 31 kilograms missile tube length, 12 10 millimeters. A United Nations analysis of photos of four anti-tank guided missiles in Libya found that one had characteristics consistent with the Iranian-produced Delavia missile, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres reported to the Security Council. However, he said in his biannual report, submitted to the Council late Monday, that the UN Secretariat was unable to ascertain if this anti-tank guided missile had been transferred to Libya in violation of Security Council sanctions on Iran. The 15-member Council banned weapons exports by Iran in 2007. Under a 2015 nuclear deal between Tehran and key global powers, which is enshrined in a Security Council resolution, the arms restrictions were lifted in October this year. Israel accused Iran of violating sanctions and submitted photos of the anti-tank guided missiles in Libya to Guterres in May. Just weeks later, Iran wrote to Guterres and categorically rejected the Israeli claims as totally baseless. Israel said the photos surfaced in November 2019 and that the weapons were being used by militias linked to Khalifa Haftar's Libyan National Army LNA, which has been fighting the internationally recognized government of national accord NA. Based on the Secretariat's analysis of the photographs provided, the Secretariat established that one of the four anti-tank guided missiles had characteristics consistent with the Iranian-produced Delavia, though no production date for this anti-tank guided missile was visible, Guterres' report said. The Secretariat is unable to ascertain if this anti-tank guided missile had been transferred to Libya in a manner inconsistent with Resolution 2231, 2015, the report said. Guterres reports twice a year to the Security Council on the implementation of the 2015 resolution. Libya has also been subjected to a UN arms embargo since 2011. Independent UN experts report separately to the Security Council on the implementation of those measures. Guterres also told the Council that, based on photographic analysis 476,000 rounds of 7.62mm ammunition, seized by Australian forces in June 2019 in international waters off the Gulf of Oman, did not appear to have been manufactured by Iran.